You probably came to this channel because you enjoy customizing or you want to customize your Android phone. What if I had to tell you that this will be a video tutorial in order to teach you how to recreate a fantastic looking home screen for your Android. My name is Marco, this is my color screen and welcome to today's video tutorial for the panels by Alex T. So having a closer look at Alex T's brilliantly designed new theme, all you can see is, wow, this is going to be a fantastic setup. Having a look at our first home screen here, we've got our search bar at the top that brings up our Google Now just by a tap, as well as having some information such as our time and date and battery information at the bottom. However, if you want to say swipe up, look at that. How cool is that? This is dude once more time. Swiping up brings up this card effect that comes with your some of your missed notifications such as for your unread messages, your missed calls as and your unread emails. It also comes with a camera shortcut, your music toggles that can play pause music as well as give you some more music information such as your album, your artist now playing. It looks really really good. If we say go swipe to the left got some brilliantly designed shortcuts here looks really minimal really clean and they're also editable so say if you want to have a favorite game you're welcome to do so you also can swap across to the right which comes with all your RSS feeds that we can see before us and just tapping on one of them will bring up that news feed just like that so if you really enjoy this setup and you want it to be set up on your Android phone let us begin with today's video tutorial boom Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, as you can see I'll be using Lightning Launcher for this setup. You're welcome to try use other launchers but you will not get, I can, tell you, I can guarantee you that you'll not get the same look and feel as you will with Lightning Launcher. So you're welcome to try it with Apex but I can't guarantee that it's going to fit perfectly and you won't get all that cool functionality of the swiping for the side tabs as well as for the bottom. Just letting you know now. Great, so just one more disclaimer that this theme was specifically designed for a Nexus 4. So if you're using a Nexus 4 and one that's got that showing the soft keys here, then you're good to go. It's going to work 100%. However, if you don't have a Nexus 4, say you're running a Galaxy S3 or a Note 2, then you're going to have to be doing some resizing. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that resizing a little bit later in the video. So let, without any further ado, let us begin with today's video tutorial. So first thing we want to do is create a backup folder for Lightning Launcher as I know a lot of people this will be their first time using this somewhat complicated launcher. So jumping right in we're going to hold down on the home screen we're going to be selecting customize Lightning. Don't get too worried about all these tabs here we want to go into well, back up. It's going to back up whatever screen you have it doesn't matter if it's blank or whatever it's going to back up and this will now create a folder in your sd card or on your sd card so that which will allow us to paste in the backup that lxt has provided so we're going to go into all apps now we're going to go into our es file explorer now if you've looked in the description below there'll be two links one will be for the uccw skin uh, link to the play store that lxt has provided or created and it is a paid theme but once you see what this can actually do you'll actually be blown away i've fallen in love with this theme looks fantastic you can change the colors as well as the hotspot so it is still a bit customizable in that regard now the other link is for this free share pack that comes with everything else basically that's non-uccw besides this use up here so that will be your wallpaper as well as your lightning launcher backup those will be your most important it does come with a apex launcher backup but like i said i cannot guarantee that everything is going to work just the way you want it so we're going to open up the lightning launcher folder we're going to hold down on this backup here remember it's the 17th of the 7th or the 17th of july just make sure that you haven't done any backups then as then you don't have to remember the entire thing and you want to select copy it's going to copy it now into your clipboard you can just go back now and you want to find that lightning launcher folder hopefully it'll be now in your sd card there it is over there so it's in your sd card lightning launcher boom opened up like that we want to select paste now and it's going to now paste it in right there remember it's the 17th of the 7th or 7th of the 17th however you want to call it but that's just remember that it is there we can go back now and that's pretty much it like i said remember everything should be on your sd card as now we can begin with the lightning launcher setup 
awesome so for this lightning launcher setup probably one of the easiest setups you'll ever do very easy you want to hold down on your home screen you want to select customize lightning now remember the last time you went backup well now you want to go into restore from here you want to go all the way to that one that you've now copied onto your phone so it should be the 7th 17th or the 7th sorry I always get confused with that it's going to resort for you and it's going to do its thing all the gears turning there and hopefully now you should pump up with this little chameleon here with all of your skins laid out for you now it will say couldn't add widget as it's not too good with handling what widgets you've been added or been adding so we're going to fill that in now but however if you want to change your wallpaper from here very easy to do if you don't want that chameleon i quite like him he's pretty cute but if you don't you want to hold down on it the home screen you want to select customize lightning now you want to go into your current screen you want to go into your wallpaper and background from here you want to select the system wall change the system wallpaper you can use whatever wallpaper app or gallery app that you prefer i always like to go with quick pick and from here you want to go into that wallpaper folder that you've copied onto your phone there's three to choose from here i always prefer well i really enjoy the city one here i'm just going to select it don't have to resize or anything you just select the tick it'll set it up for you you can just go back now and there is your wallpaper changed if you so wish next we're going to be moving into adding in all of these widgets so we're going to start off with all the uccw widgets let's do it great so for the uccw skins very easy to do we're going to start off let's start off with the first screen why not we're going to hold down on the top here make sure it's the one at the top you want to select select another widget and you want to scroll all the way down to uccw what's great about this awesome app is that it doesn't matter what size you choose i can just close my eyes and go any mini let's go that one and select which one now hopefully you've gone on to that link for the the uccw skins that'll link you to the play store you just have to download it that's all you have to do basically and it'll install it onto this list here as you can see i have quite a few skins here but not to worry it'll be under panels and the one that you'll be selecting for the top one will be panel search bar as it'll be lead you to that google search so we just want to select back now and then just tap the hand and but damn it has put up that skin just like that so that's pretty much how to add in all of them it's very easy to do i'll do it again for this bottom one here you want to hold down on it you want to select another widget like i said just you go into all the way to uccw doesn't matter which one you choose let's go for whatever and you want to go all the way down to panels again now you want to select panel main for that as that's a massive uccw skin that's going to load up for you if you just select back see how big that hand is you just need to select it now and there it is loaded up how cool is that as you can see the theme's already coming together i just want to take note of something for this uccw skin that you just added is that your gmail is going to look really really weird here and i know a lot of people always ask about this so i'm going to help you out if you select the skin hopefully it's open up it's going to open up your uccw editor if it doesn't that means your lock widgets is on so you want to go into that uccw or into your uccw app in the app drawer you want to go into your menu or in your menu at the bottom you want to go into your lock widgets and then make sure that it's off otherwise you won't be able to get into this uccw editor so keep that in mind next what you want to do is because it's a uccw skin from the play store things look a little bit different here it'll just be all in controls one so we want to scroll down here change all the colors if you wish but we just more worried about changing that gmail account so you want to select your gmail account now it'll come up with whatever email or gmail account you have and you just want to select it and then select your label such as for your inbox now i know a lot of people have that issue where it just won't show anything even after choosing a gmail account choosing a label it just comes up with dashes maybe try uninstalling uccw it might work um, if anyone else has a solution just put it in the description below and i'll like it so yeah that is how you set up a uccw gmail account and that's pretty much it so we just want to select back and everything should be all hunky dory now the other uccw skins you want to be adding is the ones all along the side here i'll just go through one and then you can just follow suit as well as the uccw rss skin it's a massive one that'll take up this over here so it's just those as the rest will be other toggles and stuff like that so we're just going to just add in these uccw skins i'll just show you one you can do the rest so you know the deal hold down on it select another widget and go into a uccw so let's choose anyone 
So say you want to add in Chrome, you just select it and it'll add it up for you. Very easy to do. Just select back and then tap the hand and it'll load it up. How cool is that? Now, however, if you don't want to add in one of those custom ones, say you want to add in a completely different name, you want to just rename it to whatever you want. This is how you're going to be doing it. You are going to go into this exact same procedure. You're going to go into, however, use up now, not selected from the list. You want to go into that free share pack folder that you've hopefully copied onto your phone. You want to go into that use up now and you want to select that use up. It's going to import it now for you and then hopefully it should import it for you. So if you just tap the hand, it'll then have, well, it'll have the reader as default. But now what you can do is pretty much just change the text. So we're just going to scroll, going to select background first, which will bring up your select object. We want to select static text one, which this is this text over here. We want to scroll across to controls number four. We want to select text. So now we can just rename it to whatever we want. So I'm quite addicted to the game Kingdom Rush. I'm just going to rename it as that. And now what I just want to point out is all of the UCCW skins come with hotspots. If you have no idea what hotspots are, check in the link below for a UCCW tutorials. Well, a few of them. So we want to, we want to go back now into our select object. We want to see, be selecting hotspots now. Now, as you can see, it's going to be selecting while well, opening up Dear Reader, but we don't want that. We want to be now selecting Hotspot, we want to be selecting App, and we want to be selecting the app that we want to open. So they are Select Kingdom Rush like that, and this applies to all UCCW Hotspots in all of the apps that you'll be adding. So just remember that you don't even have to add in Hotspots if you don't wish, but once you've got everything added the way you want, you want to go into your menu, or the menu at the bottom or your options you want to select lock widgets now and you want to select own it's gonna now set up that uccw skin for you so once you select it it'll bring up the app accordingly and yeah you just want to be just be adding in each one of these all the way till you reach the bottom will you, where you'll be adding in the all apps one just so you can open up your app drawer so i'm just going to give you some time now to add in all of those as well as to add in this uccw skin on the side great so once you've added in all the necessary uccw skins they should hopefully look like this with all of your shortcuts on the left hand side as well as the rss uh, uccw skin on the right hand side as well as the rest just in the middle so next we're going to be adding in the dear reader over here it's very easy to do you just want to hold down on that area that said couldn't add widget you want to say select another widget so you can kind of guess what i'm going to do now i'm going to be selecting dear reader i'm going to be going for the list widget four by two which works out very very well for the setup now however you've set it up it might be a little bit different um one thing though you can change the colors which is really good about deer reader is that if you just select the little deer head it's going to ask you if you want to log in i used feedly to log in and it worked out pretty well so you just want to go into your menu here you want to select your settings you want to go into your widget settings and from here you can change a few things such as your widget theme i went for a dark theme and then you can change your title color if you just by just by selecting it and then just moving this around and if you go back and then into your appearance and interactions you can also change the app theme color which is also good because that'll then change the little above title as well so you just want to go back i'm going to go back again back again out of the app and then it should hopefully it'll take a while once it refreshes itself to change all the different colors that you may have changed so that is dear reader complete if we now scroll down into the main area, we're going to be adding in our two music widgets. Well, I'd say music widgets. The first one's going to be power toggles, which is the one at the top. So very easy to add. If we just hold down on it, we say select another widget as always. And we want to scroll down to that one we call power toggles. There's only one to go by. Went a bit too far. But there it is there. You're going to select it now very easy you just want to get rid of all of these so you just want to select your foot all of your toggles select remove and then just keep doing this until you have one left as you you can't remove that last one so you just leave it there for now there it is got one left now you want to say select add a toggle so you're going to be adding in your three music controls which will be your here it is here your previous track you're going to select it add another toggle which will be your play pause music and then add another toggle which will be your next track so you're going to have those three now you can remove that last power toggle toggle and just select it and select it and say remove so that's all of those gone and all of these that you need here moving on to button colors now you want that to be a nice blue 
would not that gray so what I did it was kind of a cheap trick here a little hint you just want to select this blue one here I do have a good feeling that it's the same color um, Alex T might correct me if I'm wrong but you want to select this code that you have here you, know, you, you want to copy it so however means you want to copy it write it down or you can just select the little copy button at the top there like that and then it'll copy it onto your clipboard now what you want to do is cancel that and select that gray one this first one here and if you select your code again this time around if you select all of it and then select paste it'll now put on that blue color just for you set it and there you have your nice looking blue quite and simple like that next what you want to do is go into your background fill if you select it you want it to be fully transparent you want you want to have no background so all the way to the left hand side boom gone like that finally you want to have your button dividers you don't want to have any button dividers so you just want to select them or make the button hidden so no more button dividers now you just need to select done and there we have your music toggles complete it should set it up and just select back boom there is your music toggles I like it great and then finally is your media utilities widget I actually haven't used this yet but just trying it out I actually quite enjoyed it and it's a it's a brilliant app it basically gives you all of your music information however you want it so we want to go into media utilities but we want to go for the two by one just metadata so we're going to select that two by one it's going to bring up your options here a few things you want to do you want to first make your background color fully transparent so if you just select that gray box I guess I guess you could call it and slide the left bar all the way to the bottom and make it fully transparent and then say new color it'll make it transparent don't worry you want to get those music artists and name blue again so you want to scroll a bit more down to text color where it is white you want to get it into that blue color now remember we copied that other blue from power toggles well if you just go into hex now and you've got all your F's there you just want to say paste and it'll bring that blue color again so if we say OK say new color there we have our blue just like that so chill vibes with that you just want to scroll down and select done it's gonna save because you can have whatever else you want but we're just gonna leave it with the song name and the album and the artist like this so as you can see if you scroll across it'll change the track and yeah play pause all works well now earlier I stated that the, that this screen was designed specifically for this Nexus 4 including the soft keys however if you're not running this Nexus 4 and you have some other phone then this is what I recommend you do what I've done now is added in one of the widgets you just want to take note of this and you want to resize it because it's making maybe having some gaps what you want to do is hold down on the home screen select customize lightning you want to go into your current screen you want to go into your layouts and then you want to select free mode now before you select this make sure you're doing this right at the end otherwise res otherwise if you say bump something or resize something it's not really easy to undo so only do this once you've added in all the skins and you just need to make sure that everything fits well so once you've selected that we'll just go back back again back out of this and now you want to say resize a widget what we'll do is hold down on it then we'll tap it again which will now change the side padding icons to these little arrows what you can do now is resize it not according to a specific ratio and just a free mode as it were so you can just make it bigger or smaller like that and it should definitely help say like that make everything fit in the correct order so that's just a little tip to help make this fit your phone a lot better and there we have Alex T's brilliant setup complete. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco here from My Color Screen. If you're having troubles with the skin, please leave a comment in the description below and I'll try and do my best to help you out. If you really enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already as yeah, it's, um, I really enjoy teaching you guys how to make these awesome screens. So don't forget to check out our Facebook, Google+, Twitter community, Instagram community. Yeah, all in the description below. You definitely want to go check that out. So Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.